the question is, why don't you have a mic? Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. It's Friday. It's Friday evening. I had a snowstorm last night and it's melting away today. And we're we're getting set to be snowed on here. It, it will reach us in I don't know, 24 hours or something like that. We're just getting Oh, yeah, she didn't make it. Be yeah, glad to pass on the snow that we're getting uh, on us, if you want it. I probably can't it's, stay the whole time. It's, it's headed our I'm way. I'm not getting the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay. I just probably jinxed myself. Uh, okay, um, let's get the ball rolling. I don't think it's, I don't think we've got a lot on the, on the agenda today, but, uh, you know, I've thought that before. Um, so status of the, the usual updates of the status of the, the, the release pipeline. Um, there's nothing, nothing in beta at the moment. The beta version is essentially identical to release at the moment. Um, Viewer development is waiting for Chewy to merge, and uh, I offer no guesses as to when that will happen. Um, any minute now is what I keep hearing, more or less. Um, and uh, but that but that is still at this point next in line. Yeah, that's that's true, Jonathan. It was. Um, uh, server-side baking is also out there, and thank you to those of you who participated in the in the pylon test yesterday. Unfortunately, that happened at a time I I couldn't be there. You're you're uh, aware of the um, IDD issues that occurred as a result. Of that? I, I haven't heard any of the gruesome details yet. No. Okay, I'm just I was hoping that somebody might have said, "Oh my God, actually, we really need to fix this." Uh, the fact that we that we have serious problems and that they're getting in the way uh, has uh, has received considerable discussion. Oh, good. <laughs> That's good it to was, hear. <laughs> that, I mean, the that, thing is, if you can't reliably test something, you really can't reliably assume it's working properly when you release it. Uh, right. So um, that that too is something that you know we're we're painfully aware of. Um, so I don't know what uh, what we will end up doing to 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 get around those problems or whether we'll get them fixed. Um, I I just don't know. So uh, and and I haven't unfortunately. Uh, it's been kind of a crazy day. I'm doing a lot of last minute things to uh, about selling my house, and so I haven't actually gotten an update on on what the team thinks they got out of the uh, uh, of the test yesterday, if anything. So no uh, no nicks today. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Guess not. <laughs> uh, well, if <laughs> if Widely hasn't gotten it, then I stand no chance. So, um, uh, materials that I can actually give you a, a slightly more coherent update on. Uh, we we actually it was one big big fail fest. Oh, good. Um, the uh, the well, you know, for a first for a first pile on, that's pretty much what you expect anyway, right? Uh, so, um, materials. Uh, we we are making progress. Uh, we have we we our list of things that must be fixed before we can hand it out to people is now down to one. Um, so hopefully we will have a, some a public test version and visible sources roughly simultaneously um, real soon now. Um, but, so there's uh, still no actual particular order of, of implementation other than whatever gets done first. Is that right? Uh, the current plan of record is Chewy first and then something else. Oh, yes. Project Coca. <laughs> something else. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, uh, oh, Coco, what do you got for news there? Uh, they are, uh, I think their, their project Coco is, is, uh, updating, um, the Mac builds to use the spiffy new stuff in 10.8 and get rid of the dependencies on, on old, um, Mac APIs that aren't well supported anymore. Yeah. So, uh, and, and that is apparently way cool. And, um, yeah, we'll be building on 10.8. Um, and, uh, and, and so, which, which is nice because then I'll be able to upgrade my Mac to 10.8. Um, Linux and, uh, is getting updated too, right? Sorry? Is Linux getting any updates as well? Uh, there are various things that are touching various parts of Linux. Yes, right. And, and a bunch of things have gotten cleaned up in the course of different projects uh, that make it that make the sources more compatible with later versions of GCC. Although I, I'm not going to get caught on a recording quoting which versions those are because I'm not clear enough on it. Um. Uh. Believe that it will mean you can throw out your 10.6 SDK after that transition. Um, that is that is the hope. Um, and that's the correct, Oz. Right. That, that's that's correct. That's the expectation. That's the goal is to get people building cleanly with uh, 10.8. No, 10.6 will continue to be supported, but you Wait, don't so need to on... use the SDK. You don't need right. to keep the 10.6 SDK. You can build right. cleanly we'll be... with 10.8 or better. Right, we will be running. We, it'll be run. It'll run on 10.6, but you will need 10.8 to build it, and you will not need the 10.6 SDK to do that. Correct. And that project viewer is available now, and I believe Oz, uh, we we made the branch public as well. Did we? Uh, I, I think so. Look. Not, and right. you say we should, then we will. So yeah, we're we're pretty close. Um, I think there's stuff there that's uh, uh, worth snagging if you're interested. Uh, but uh, we are sorting through the last little details of having the completely uh, 10.8 uh, support, the clean 10.8 support. We did some hacky stuff and got it to work, but then we cleaned it all up, so it's just 10.8 and. Uh, it's very cool. And we support is that full what, screen now. Is that what you've been hoping for? Oh, really? Full screen? Yep. Really? Yeah. And yes, that's that's readable. So, what order those things will merge in is a, a matter for great speculation, uh, but it will be after chewing.
Oh, there's Nyx. Hey, Nyx. Um, so, Nyx, do you want to do you want to give a, a, a preliminary tentative post mortem on on the pylon, or would you rather just duck? <laughs> no, I, I I can give a bit of an update. Um, uh, actually, most of my work today is focusing on digging through all the feedback we got. Uh, so, big thank you to everyone who participated in the pylon yesterday. Um, got a lot of a lot of data out of it. Um, it looks like the majority of the issues were inventory related, and we're going to be digging into those. Um, but anecdotal evidence says that when the system worked, it worked pretty darn well. Um, but there were some people who had more trouble than others, um, and we're, we have we have a lot of data, a lot of logs uh, to try and hunt that down. Uh, so we're going to be digging into the failures, trying to clean those up, and uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that that should put you guys behind what about a month or two? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not going to make any statements like that. Um, we are we are looking into the remaining issues. We're going to be fixing them as as quickly as possible. Uh, I wasn't there, but I, a quick question: Was you able to determine it was it the beta grid causing the problems, or just general inventory problems? Because I know beta inventories sometimes give me problems. That is a very good question and one that we're uh, trying to determine as we uh, dig through the reports. Um, definitely there are some issues with inventory that are specific to the beta grid. Uh, and if those, if that's the main source of our issues, that's one thing. Um, or if it's the inventory system itself, uh, then we definitely uh, need to dig in even deeper and fix those problems. I would say that uh, there, there are some problems in the in the inventory handling in the viewer itself because the first half of this test I, I used your test viewer and I couldn't do basically anything. I didn't have once a successful outfit change. And for the second half I switched to singularity and then there it worked well. So I don't think it's, it's the server bits that are most broken in this test. We're definitely going to be doing a uh, deep dive and try and figure out exactly where uh, we can do fixes. Um, if you have any uh, specific pointers on areas or functions we need to be looking at in particular, Latif, um, definitely let me know. No, my biggest problem with the with the project viewer was that uh, it would get stuck uh, trying to change outfit. You know, it would uh, run this spinner around and never get around to do anything. And the log showed uh, a lot of problems with creating inventory links and stuff like that. But I didn't experience that in Singularity in the second bit, which was which was interesting. So it wasn't the RT inventory server, at least for me, that was at fault here. Well, no. that's that sounds like an interesting use case to have dug into. But um, but they've only had you know a few hours to to begin the analysis of of how it went and and what there is to learn from it. And I'm sure there will be many more hours of that to do. Um, and we'll we'll wrestle with the problem of uh, of of how to try to do a test that. That doesn't have uh, the same set of Aditi inventory issues as as the last one did. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, is there any? Are you guys able to um, clarify why, in layman's terms, perhaps why it's not possible to uh, set up a couple of regions on main grid with service head baking? It's not possible because there are some backend things that we need to deploy first before we can do that. And uh, once someone visits a uh, server bake region, uh, their appearance will be set as server bake even when they leave that region. 
Um, so for that reason, we really need uh, people to have updated their viewers before we start doing main grid tests. Ah, okay. And it's so, and when you do start doing main grid tests, uh, I presume you're going to do it on um, an RC. Uh, we're we're exploring a couple different options. I'll definitely uh, let you guys know when we start doing main grid testing. Um, it's definitely going to be a progressive rollout, starting with uh, just a small uh, set of regions, and then going up to an RC, and then maybe two RCs uh, before. Oh, good. We, okay before we open the floodgates fully. Um, but since it since it will affect anyone who has visited uh, those regions and has not uh, since done an outfit change since leaving those regions, uh, the impact is going to be uh, a little bit larger than you'd think. Well, that was my, my concern, was that if you roll it out on one RC, um, you know, that's a, a third of the grid or whatever, however that works out. And uh, I understand that when you leave a server-side baking region into a non, uh, there's some pretty big issues. Right now, uh, that mostly works as long as everyone has the updated code. Um, if you go to a region uh, and people see you who do not have the updated code, uh, then you're going to look wrong, definitely. Um, we are hunting down one or two uh, problems with transitions both to and away from a server-side baked appearance, uh, but those are starting to look minor if uh, everyone has the uh, updated viewer. Oh, good. Can you rebake on a, on a non-server-side baking region after you leave it to appear okay to the people who didn't up upgrade their reviewer? Yes, you can You can either change anything about your outfit or you can force a rebake. Either will um, switch you back to the old style appearance. A uh, quick question, is there going to be a uh, force rebake option for server-side baking? Uh, and it's the exact same UI element, it just goes through a uh, different pipeline. It's already there and it works. Hopefully people will need it a great deal less. That's kind of the point. That is indeed the hope. I was hoping there would be a function to do a force rebake because changing outfits twice, causing two rebakes just to fix a bake issue might overload the servers. <laughs> We're, we're definitely looking at um, doing a lot of uh, load testing, and we've been doing a lot of load testing. And um, actually, part of the reason we were doing the pylon was to uh, try and see how much you guys could uh, stress our servers. So that's definitely something we're uh, looking into. In, in all the testing that I have seen, yeah, it's, it, it's yeah, actually yeah. the inventory that fails the most. You know, the, the part where we over uh, creates a current outfit folder, it gets stuck there. It never gets to to sending server to the uh, the command to start server side baking. Actually, the the bit the do the baking itself seems to work fine but but the inventory handling part of the viewer is is not not that stable okay and then the 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 one remaining item uh and we'll, I'm sure that by our next meeting, uh, there will be more news on, on how that's going to progress. That will stay on the agenda for sure. Um, we also have in the pipeline uh, an upgrade to FMOD EX. Um, and another one I forgot to put on the, on the, on the list here, um, but is also coming, is that we're in the process of updating, updating to the new the newest uh, Vibox 
uh, SL Voice plugin. Oh. So that's coming too. What's new in that? Could that possibly have uh, security updates? I I don't Oh, know. that's good to hear. Yeah. Maybe Is that a yes some, to the security I, updates? Yeah, that was a yes to the security updates, but also it's um it is it is alleged that it will have um the uh that it, that it improves voice quality too. So, we'll see. I haven't tried hmm. it yet myself. When uh, uh, and yes, no it is ETA backwards on that, compatible. Eh? It is it is backwards not, compatible. Uh, anecdotally, uh, or we we've noticed an improvement in voice quality, um, and we have um, they and on Vivox's side, they've improved some echo cancellation as well. well what about um, some server. connection reliability? Yeah, um, stability. Can't speak, can't speak to that at this time. Our rest. We believe, we believe that, it. Yeah. We believe it'll be better. But, uh, you know, uh, it's updated. So there you go. Latest and greatest. So, uh, but you guys aren't doing any um, back end in the connection stuff. Uh, so my support team tells me that we've, that it's actually become very common to have uh, support issues, voice connections. Yeah, the, the last couple of weeks, uh, our, our users are, are... Uh, constantly being disconnected from voice, um, you know, you TP someplace and you still see a dot on your screen, you look like you're connected, but nobody else is, and the reality of the situation is that uh, you're not connected to the same channel. A lot of time your voice gets left behind on a region that you've just left. We had uh, one student in one of our classes the other day who uh, wasn't even showing up on nearby voice but uh, she could hear everything we were saying for well over an hour while she was uh, traipsing around all over the grid. I, I believe that bug is actually the... Ex I could be wrong, I'm probably wrong, but I believe that bug, that particular bug is the exploit that's one of the exploits that's being used by uh, griefers to listen in on conversations without showing up on active speakers list or even being in the region. The other thing that might be in there is the ability to do your connection, the HTTP part of your your uh, Firefox connection through a proxy, which was not previously supported. Hmm. So, uh, so for the small percentage of users who try to run SL behind a proxy, yeah, sorry, my dogs are exercised about something here. Now, uh, another question I had since you mentioned FMODX. Was there a reason for upgrading to FMODX EX instead of uh, just uh, going over to OpenAL and dropping the uh, expenses for the license? Uh, we, I, I don't think we're going to discuss that. Um, we we preferred to go with the commercial solution for voice for 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 audio, and the new one does support Linux. So we we will be back to the same. We will be on the same software on all the platforms. Sixty four bit Linux, nice. So it's, and it's open AL that we get to drop. Pulse audio. And I hope that doesn't require a pulse audio. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't speak to that one way or the other. So all, all of that is in the pipeline and will be appearing in various places, uh, you know, near you soon. So, um, right. Not in, not in release until after Chewy. None of them. Uh, and what order they'll happen in after that is, uh, um, well, we we could speculate, but it would just be speculation at this point. I'm just stirring up um, rumors, but it would almost seem as though Linen Lab was showing some interest in 64-bit. Uh, 
Well, you know, stirring up rumors is a is a, is a, is a time honored tradition in Second Life. So <laughs> there you go. Well, we have plenty of rumors surrounding us, so I thought I'd just share some, you know, with Linden Lab and whoever else would like to have some rumors. We, we, we appreciate that. About fixing jet lag. <laughs> 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 yeah, you just keep you just keep passing that one around, except yeah. the chat lag will keep it from propagating very fast. Um, yeah, the secret to fixing chat lag is buried with Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> Once you find him, you'll find it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, uh, any, any other topics that people feel like bringing up besides uh, chat like? I have something that's really off topic and it's more of a question as to who I would address, uh, the issue to. Um, shoot, and I'll duck the question. Yeah, okay. I figured you would, but, uh. What are the chances of getting some sort of uh, system in place for banning people from joining an open an open group? Um, this is a problem for us simply because we've got nine different support well nine different language support groups in SL, and uh, even with a bot, it's a real pain to try to uh, boot people. Some way of ba banning someone from an open group, an open join group, widely. Let me elaborate a little bit. So, uh, currently, if you run a uh, open enroll group because you need it to be open enroll, um, you basically are inviting griefers to come in and spam and advertise and do whatever they want to do. And you can obviously eject them, but then they can obviously come right back again. And we have a, a custom bot that that one of my developers have written, and it's hosted on a, his own server. And, and what it does is it monitors the chatters list and when that person enters that chatters <laughs> list um, it automatically boots them back into the group. Unfortunately um, it doesn't do it instantaneously uh, because it has to load that chatters list and see that person come in and, and usually they can manage to get a copy paste in pretty quickly. Um, well don't be too excited because the reason Ed is bringing it up is because it's not ideal. Uh, what would be ideal if Linden Lab might happen to be looking at future projects, for example, um, would give would be to give um, users the ability to affect this on their own. Just like you can add a person to a ban list in an open region, it would be great if you could enable or create a ban list in an open enroll group. If you see what I'm saying. Yes, I mean, this that's is, this a, is a, that, that's a sort of a feature, you know, for a yeah. long, long time, for many groups, you know. People come with source, all sorts of workarounds, like you said, with bots, or they well, make that's it, it open. Well, it's a workaround. Yep, and they, or they make it open enrollment, but then the default role cannot chat, and then you have to ask moderator to, you know, move them to another role where they can chat, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. Uh, you know, if you guys are looking for a new project and, and you want to do something that's really going to make people happy, um, if it's not going to be, you know, group chat lag, uh, would be group moderation tools. The, the reason this is coming up at this particular point in time is we have one particular uh, griefer for the one of a uh, less polite for for one of a yeah for one of a better term I'm just going to call them a griefer. Our, our groups are all uh, uh, general because teens are welcome to join our groups for support, um, but this particular one is posting rather obscene. Uh, material in a general group. She's been booted and booted and booted and booted multiple times. She's been AR'd by I think pretty much half the people in the in the group. Amante, it would be better if you could do it server side because um, if it's viewer side, I can guarantee you griefers will make viewers that will bypass it.
It, yeah, uh, I understand that, but, you know, um, it's just something I thought I'd bring up here and kick around and see if you had any real comments. Oh, no, it's, a, it's it, the general issue of, of, of creating some kind of block list for, for otherwise open groups. Uh, is a good issue. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. And we hear it. Um, Actually, the, the easiest way out could be just make a, you, you can mute somebody now in 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 a group, but that doesn't uh, persist over sessions. So all they have to do is close group chat and open it again. If you just uh, make that mute thing permanent, that would solve ninety nine percent of this. Well, except that the only problem with that, uh, Latif, would be that then that person can still remain in the group, and then, and we have this happen frequently as well, uh, go through the chatters list, go through the group members list, and, and message the members of that group independently, and spam them, or whatever it is they do. Bots have been doing and Bots do it all the time, yeah. I, it, this is something, I'm glad you're interested, because this is something that would be very, like, you want to be a hero, there you go. You're going to make the user base extremely happy, because you, th you think of the, the wide use case of this, um, stores, especially uh, content creators with, with stores and whatnot, have open enroll groups, they use that to promote their products, but in order to have an open group, then they have to deal with the griefers, and, and generally people just don't have that time. Yeah, with this particular problem, I have considered uh, doing a client-side solution for Firestorm simply because we got the most members. But unfortunately, wherever we do on the client side, uh, people that are on Second Life viewer, I mean, Linden Labs viewer, uh, won't be able to get the benefits of the uh, client-side ban. Yeah, no, that's that's clearly like any any uh, exclusion mechanism. It's, it's clearly better implemented as a server solution than than as a client. Uh, point. Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah, quite welcome. Thank you for uh, being interested. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll we'll put it in the. Do you have any ATPA on what, that? What happens? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Got it. I, I got uh, it. No, 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 no ETA on that. So. <laughs> we don't. We don't do ETA. I, I'm not. Too. I'm not. I'm not saying anything more about this issue. But uh, one, I <laughs> well, am, I've got uh, ETA. It's after two. I have been fascinated with for some time, and I am uh, beside myself with joy to hear it coming from you guys. So. Oh, good. Cool. There um, are probably about a hundred Jiras filed against for for this kind of request, but. And, really and we, we can give you we we can give you the answer to the ETA question. By the way, what is when this it's GM ready? To speak of? <laughs> uh, estimate, <laughs> yeah, just when it's ready. <laughs> yeah, and, right. That's what we tell everybody when they say when's the next release coming out. Yeah, right. At the, this particular feature AP decided to implement implement it uh, would be probably one of the most visible and most talked about improvements Linden Lab has done in years. It would be huge, yeah. And don't be too surprised if it's actually talked about more than server-side baking. Well, we'll see. Oh, no, yes. I, I think server-side baking is going to be talked about quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Uh, speaking of rumors, you know, server side baking is a big source of rumors. You know, we heard that the Linden Lab is going to ban your viewer by the end of February and it's gonna break and yada yada. That's why we did our Q and A because people just don't understand and and people need to be informed. Uh, let's just get this on another record. At least there's multiple records of it. Uh, you are not planning to block or ban any viewers that does not support server side breaking, correct? We're just going to let them break. There, there's, it, 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 it's not helpful to to add complexity by by actually blocking viewers. It, besides, I'm I'm uh, I think I mentioned this last time. Uh, uh, I have this theory that a lot of people are just using their viewer as a as a as an elaborate chat client, and and I'm going to see how many people stay on. Stay on these old viewers that they're on, even after they're no longer rendering avatars. 
Uh, uh, I'd argue with you on that one, Us. You ever hung around in a uh, 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 newbie center and seen how long avatars, people will actually stand around uh, adjusting the appearance on their avatars? Oh, I, I didn't say that was the only thing. I'm just saying that I, th I think there are some people who are on viewers that are already so old and, and screwed up in terms of how they render the world that they, uh, you know, that they're, they're obviously don't really care about rendering of a lot of stuff. And uh, well, I'm going to be very interested are... to see how many of them resist, you know, moving from a viewer that, that will, at that point, no longer render avatars, including their own. There are two legitimate reasons for that particular problem. One is they tried to upgrade, and it was a complete disaster, wherever that may be. But it was those disasters that when they finally downgraded and got things working back, they swear to never upgrade again. The second one is the uh, they can't upgrade because the hardware because our hardware is too limited. That or they haven't heard about how good raid gas is. Yeah, that's true. Because I mean, raid gas would serve that that niche perfectly as just a chat point. Although you've got graphics, I heard Latif. Oh, yeah, that's that's just out. a toy uh, renderer. It was really for me to learn OpenGL and see how it. But it's mainly ninety nine percent of its use is uh, as an IM client for uh, SL. Now that uh, he's added crash stats reporting, he's in the yeah. Congrats on the, on being absolutely list. unbeatable ever <laughs> for crash rate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nobody can compete with that. I mean, I I give up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, basically, think... it will not crash uh, unless you try to open the 3D view and then open GL and all the drivers will do what, what it does to you guys. So. Yeah, as soon as you add so, graphics. Yeah, so to anything. You know, this 0 0.6 or 1% is the, the number of people that have tried uh, the 3D rendering bits. <laughs> Uh, how long were you every session, sessions on that one? It had to be extremely long since so it never crashed. It, it looks like it's about two hours from the stats. How actually, I don't, I'm Canadian, but I don't actually know how, how do you pronounce it? I pronounce it Radegast. Radegast, okay. I've always called it Radegast. Yep. Yeah, we had uh, we had uh, Radagast and and Dolphin also moved back up into the top section of the of the directory. How did last. how did that happen? Did they did they um, just a Dolphin is always the minutes, is always or? on the yeah. It's it all Dolphin has so we many versions out now. and that they're spread over a lot of different versions and it, and the, it's usually true that um, at least one of them is just barely below the threshold. Um, and and then occasionally pops up above it. So obviously, uh, this was last week was a good week for some version. Uh, Need to up the threshold then. <laughs> well, I also I, noticed that uh, one point two three point four magically reappeared after what a year and a half. Oh yeah, yeah. It right. it somehow went over the minutes, the minimum. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it that's another one that 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 pops in and out. Um, Could be old uh, copybot viewers using the channel. It'll be interesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how many of them, you know, disappear entirely after the. Uh, um, in my in my total report, there are uh, altogether there are s over seventeen hundred different unique. Combinations of channel and version on the on the grid in a typical week. I've seen one of those. It's very very noisy. <laughs> there, it's kind of crazy how many there are, uh, and I'm going to be really fascinated to see how how server side baking changes that number. Well, it'll probably change some of it, of course, but uh, you got to remember some of those are bots that are just uh, not spoofing, but just reporting a channel version that works. 
Right. Well, all channel versions work, so I don't see an incentive for a bot to, to fake it. Yeah, I think anything above a null string works just fine. Well, there are there are a few that will that will get you blocked, but uh, very, very, very few. Yeah, but well, I mean, by default it's allowed unless you are explicitly banned, right? That's right. That's right. By def by default, a, a, a an, an unrecognized channel is is perfectly okay. Hey, um, any other new topics? Heads up for things we should be watching for. Anything? Um, yes, we are. Can't think of anything offhand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get your so get mix. your. Uh, no, no, we're not we're not talking about mesh deformer here today. <laughs> don't don't even start. Um, the uh, uh, yeah. Get get to work on your server side baking ports if you haven't got them. Well, it, it's um, we've been in that kitty. process, but um, you guys keep taking Kitty from us, and we're <laughs> yeah. sort of relying on Kitty for the RLV fixes. So that's actually your fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's your fault that I'm not getting materials. It, it can't be that she's not getting anything done. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll uh, we'll see you in two weeks. Enjoy the snow. Have off. a good weekend. Have a good weekend, folks. Oh, Nick's, if I could make clones. Really, Kitty, oh. Nikki, myself. Clone me, then I could quit, Jess. And with that, I'm off home. Catch you all later, folks. And see you later, Ed. Um, I've got a poof as well. Although I just got a bunch of the clams here. Yeah, take care. Yes. <laughs> I don't think he got that. So. Oh, Cinder, you should have brought that up while he was here. It's a cat, uh. Hello.